joining its boot camp um, January 8th, 2022. I gotta get used to 2022. We have a lot going on. It's not like, I don't know what to expect of this workout, uh, actually. Um, just certain things that I like to do. Um, and a lot of stuff I'm gonna do, I'm using kettlebells, of course, in my elevation, and 25s, and then maybe like a 30 and 35. So I'm not doing anything lighter than that, just so you understand what I'm using. We're gonna start with a body weight warm, warm up, four minutes, Tabata style. So we're gonna do a push up, and then you're gonna do high, low plank. When you're in high plank, you're also going to do a plank hop, okay? So 20 seconds. And then one leg, you're going to step up into reverse lunge, and I'll just use my high elevation here. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Hopefully we get lots of freezing in here. I have, like, I have like three layers, but you guys look like they're really <laughs> bundled up. <laughs> I know, Wendy. So, Wendy, I know you're like cool with the cold, though. I think you can handle the cold well because you've run in the cold. Anyway. Yeah. All right, we're starting eight seconds. I'm a wuss when it comes to running <laughs> in the cold. All right, so you're gonna do push up. And then you're gonna do low plank, high plank, and then you're gonna plank hop. And then you're gonna do push up. Low plank, high, plank hop. If you can't do plank hop, just don't do it. So see your toe is broken. <laughs> or whatever. All right, step up, reverse slide, don't put the leg. Whew. Step up into reverse, okay? So we're gonna step up. The leg that's on the elevation is going to reverse lunge. Make sure you don't have anything behind you. Press up with your heel. And keep that core tight. You can do weighted, but it's, it's a warm up, so. Just remember what leg you're on so you can switch. Back to the push up. Two pushes today, I don't think. Who knows? Probably within the burpees. Push up, low, low, high, high hop. Another push up. Low, low. school have off or virtual or uh sean doesn't go back till monday but wait just from break yeah just from break oh my goodness and uh the girls had virtual thursday friday oh you 30 32 yeah what about carol just assignments yesterday for carol and this was all virtual but who knows no one woke up late exercise and then you're just gonna add her up until your eight minutes are up. Eight's long. Alright, so take your time. But the man made this one rep takes a while, so hopefully that sucks up some of the time. <laughs> and if you can't jump or pop it into this plank hop, you just step it in. We're gonna use our elevation. 
All right, so we're gonna do man makers. So we're gonna do one rep of each of these three moves. It's eight minutes, running clock. Then we're gonna do swing into a deadlift. So I'm gonna use my heavier kettlebell. So you're gonna swing, you're gonna step back, you're gonna swing, you're gonna set it down, you're gonna step or pop up, and then you do your deadlift. And then step ups. All right, so I'll just use 25. So I probably could have gone heavier. Oh well, I don't have some of my weights out here. I found my weights in my son's bedroom. He's like, must be like lifting my eyes in the All right, eight minute running clock. Follow my lead, because we're going to, um, I have to start my timer. We're gonna, you know, you can follow my lead or you can go at your own pace, obviously, but you're adding a rep. So one man maker will be first. And I'll explain the man maker when we get there, because it's a, not a complicated move, it's just a lot in one rep. All right. We're starting. Grabbing my 25, so actually I'll use with two boots. You're gonna go into your push-up. So push-up, row, push-up, row, pop it in, clean and press. Alright, swing into a deadlift for one. Step back. You're gonna swing. You're gonna set it down, pop it up, deadlift. And down. All right, one step up on each leg. Do this out of the way. One. And one. All right, two man makers. So you're popping in your plank. Push up. Throw. Push up. Throw. Pop in. Clean. Press. That's one rep. Push up, row. All right, one minute's done. Push up, row. Pop it in, clean, and press. Two swings with an deadlift. Swing, slow it down, deadlift up. Set it back, swing, set it down. Alright, two step ups. Stay on one leg. So up for one, up for two. Switch legs. Up for one, up for one. Alright, we're on two, three, three reps. Three man makers. We're almost on two minutes. Row, push up. Row, pop it in, clean, and press. That's one. Push up, row, push up, row, pop it in, clean. Two, one more. Row.
Take your time and use it. Two push-ups for each rep. For each round. Clean. Press up one. Almost halfway. Halfway there. Two reps. Two left. Five minutes, three left. Last one. Four seconds. Whew. I don't know, five minutes is coming up. <laughs> one. Two. Three. And four. Other way. One, two, three, one more. All right, we're on the five. Main makers, close to the two minute mark. Get more. One layer from the left yet? No, not yet. One, two is left. Make sure you hit both legs equally. <laughs> Kobel um, set, we're doing a little quick cardio, all right? So five plank pops, five squat jumps, five jump lunges, which is 10 total, and chair lunges, 10 total. And then those kettlebell moves, we're going to decrease by two reps and remove the last move, 
Okay, my hands are so cold. Maybe my hands aren't so cold. All right, I need a push up. We're gonna do six on each side. So we're gonna do an uneven push up, and you're gonna do a shoulder tap. So uneven one arm raise, and you're gonna shoulder tap and bring your knee in. So we'll do six on each side. Actually, most of my weights I'll be using, I think, 35s, and I think a 40 and a 50 I'm using for my weights. That's our first move. We'll just we'll just talk about each move before we do it, just so it's not overwhelming. Okay, so six total, or I'm sorry, 12 total, six on each side. So one hand's up and elevated. You're gonna do a deep, I need a push up. And your shoulder tap and bring your knee in. One. You can just do the shoulder tap with the knee in too much. Three. Four. So get a little core. Five. And six. Alright, go to the other side. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. All right, we have a 10 rep around, two swings, and great catch press. I'm going to use my 35. So, you're going to swing, swing, alternate, figure eight, catch, and then press. That's one rep, you have 10 total. All right, so you do end up alternating in this move, okay? Just naturally. All right, so standing back, two swings. So we're gonna, one, two, go right in that figure eight, catch, so between the legs, and press, that's one. Two swings. One, two, figure eight, catch, and press. One, two, fluid into the legs, and press. Three. Four, keep one end open. So you can make that transition. Five, five more. Six, seven, just a little push press. Two more. Eight. We got a lot of core here too. Okay. One more. And 10. Right. Sticking with my 35. Three dynamic rows into a clean front lunge, back lunge. So make sure you have space here, safety. <laughs> You're doing this. So, dynamic rows. Make sure you're going to bring the weight up and switch. One is one rep, so you do three of them. That way you're constantly switching, and then you're going to clean. My 35 is a little heavy for the clean, but I'm going to try. I might assist, and then we'll do the leg that's on the side front lunge, back lunge. That's one rep, we have eight total, okay? Whew, so make sure you're hinged for these rows. Three total, so bringing the weight up. One, two, three, clean. Front lunge, Whew. reverse lunge. Another three rows. One, two, three, clean. Get that bounce. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. That's two. One, two, three, clean. Just lunging on the side that's wrapped. Three. I will pause. <laughs> One, everyone's okay. <laughs> this is four. We'll be halfway there. One, squeeze that shoulder blade. Two, three, clean. This will be the longest round, okay? One, two, three. Use that core to clean. Two more. One, two, three, clean. 
We have one more. One, two, three. Slingshot, reverse lunge, plank hop is next. I'm gonna try and use my 40. So, one hand, slingshot catch, reverse lunge. You can do it at the same time if you feel comfortable. Then you're gonna put the weight down if you can. You can do two hands, I'm gonna try and plank hop on the single kettlebell. And actually with this one though, we're gonna do six on each side. Whew. Sitting back to different kinds of swing. Okay, so your hand is vertical, I guess. And so, that works. Okay. so if you want, you can slingshot and catch and then reverse. Okay, and then put the weight down and hop. Or you can do it at the same time. That's at the same time. So swing. Reverse, lower, three. Don't plank hop too far up. Okay, three. So set it down, plank hop. I want to do it where I actually set it down. Four. So set it down, plank hop. Halfway up. Five. Start up front. So in reverse. And set it down. Hop. One. Two. Three. It's four. Half. Two more. The next time you do this, it'll be the last time. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> this one's hard. Alright, it is up. Last one. And then we have clean into a surrender. For four. This is the one and done. And once we're done this one, we're doing that quick cardio. Whew. So clean the weight. And then while you're holding it, you're gonna kneel down, kneel, and go to stand. Just four reps. Sit on the ground, up, clean it, and then all the way down to surrender. Okay. Alternate that surrender to the lead. Two, just four total, and then you're done with these. Last one, we're tight for the good weight. That's too much on your back. That's not too much on your back. All right, you know that one. Your cardio, five plank hops, five squat jumps, five, which is really 10 total jump lunges, and then 10 total chair lunges, okay? Five plank hops. One, two, three, four, five, Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Jump lunges, ten total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chair lunges for ten total. To finish. So we're just lunging down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. If you prefer, you could just do toe taps. So you do this. Ten toe last just as hard. <laughs> All right. Back to the start. Now we're doing ten. I need a push up. So it's five on each side. All right. Drop in a rep. Drop in an exercise. Or drop in two reps. The push up. Shoulder tap me. One. Head in a line, be looking out, not looking down. Three, four, and five. Other side. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, we're going to eight. 
Two swings, big read. Patch press. Okay, total. So step back. Two swings. So one, two, go to the green, catch, and press. That's one. One, two, two. One, two, three. These are fun. Five. Six. Two more. Swing around. These are core. One more. Swing. Swing. Be great. Just one side. All right. Three dynamic rows. Into that pendulum up this way. So you can front lunge add reverse lunge. Six total. One, two, three, clean, front lunge, reverse lunge. One, two, three. That's two. One, two, three. Three more. One, two. Two more. One, two, three. Third. Last one. One, two, three. All right. That slingshot. Four on each side, and then your dog is. Oh, catch your breath. Look at that cardio plank real quick. Down, plank up, halfway. I want you to come all the way out just because you don't want to get, you don't want to get out of our way swing. We have our cardio. My cops. For five. One, two, three, four. Jump squats. One, two, three, four, five. Jump lunges. Two equals one. One, two, Three, four, five, oh, two lunges, or two tops. Fire for those lunges. One, two, three, four, five. All right, three moves this round. Eight uneven push ups, so four total on each side.
Deep push up head in alignment. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. All right, we have that figure eight, two swings. We have six total. Two swings. One, two, one, one, two, two, three. Dynamic rows for the last time. We have four total. Whew. Here we go. One, two, three. I forgot about this. Had a little sanctuary room. One, one, two. <coughs> Chest up. Two more. One, two. Last one. One, two. Okay, we got that cardio. Plank hops for five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
of a sit-up. We have that lateral step up. I'm going to do a little bit heavier. That hurts. Pick a leg, and then we'll do the other leg the second round. Seconds. Remember, this next one is just one and done. So it's a single arm hand clean. We're going to alternate into that rotational press. This is my 25. Three seconds. We have lateral step ups on the other side, and then we're done on that one. Yes. 
15 seconds. seconds. Last 20. And then we have five to one reps, three moves. You will need your elevation for the one move. So 
just a regular swing, and that squat swing. One, good. Two, three, four, and five. Swing mills, five on each. Just gotta clean and press it up. And my feet kind of slightly turned. Hands gonna kind of touch the ground, locked arm. And you rotate up one, two, three, four, and five. These are controlled core movement. Other side. This is the longest round, we'll do four next. One. Two. Look up at that weight, you want to make it harder. Three. Plank rows are next. Four. And five. All right, four reps, four reps. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Swing, squat, swing. with a six minute hit. I know you usually do like a crazy finisher. <laughs> Not today. I feel like we started crazy. <clears throat> One more. Four. All right, roll three. One, two, last one, and then about two reps. You're tempted to just do three, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it as written. One, two, one, two, and then those swings. One, and two, one else. Woo, one, <clears throat> and two.
I'll just do my 25s and my 35 kettlebell for the last move. All right, we're one more out to warm up. One. And one. You will need to do elevation too. Next one, we'll try my 40. And then one more. Two moves in this last set, alternating, timer goes up and timer goes down. I'll use my 225 for the burpee clean step up. So one step up, you'll alternate your step up. And then we're doing the figure eight toes. So you're going to figure eight catch, rotate, static lunge. Then figure eight catch, you're always alternating. This is your last six minutes. And then we'll be at what? Wow. Oh, you'll be at exactly 63 minutes. For you for an hour? Yes. When here it says, I don't know when I started the timer. I don't know when I started this. That's really good. No, you're probably right. We're about an hour. Okay. I'm stalling, but only because I can't find my <laughs> I can't find my here. Okay. There it is. Okay. No, that's not it. Shoot. Where are you? There we go. Six minutes. Okay. So burpee clean step ups first. Starting in five seconds. Four, three, hopefully I bring the plank out. Okay. I really kind of don't. Push up, popping it in. You're going to clean the weights and then step up. Step up on both legs? I would do one leg. Okay. I'm going to my elevations. My legs, too long. So clean. All right. Grabbing that kettlebell. <laughs> Figure eight static. Whew. Good figure eight around. Catch, rotate, static lunge. Figure eight. Catch. Got to get used to the 40. And lunge. Catch. Lunge. And lunge. This is the third second round. Timer's going up. All right, burpee, clean, step up for 40 seconds. <coughs> going in five. Make sure you're alternating the leg. You clean, and then step. So you clean it to your shoulders. Deep lunges. 20 seconds. Last eight. All right, sit down. This is another 50 second round.
seconds. I'm gonna go 40 seconds.15 seconds. Five seconds. All right, this is a 30 second round. Sit, you basically have a minute left. Whew. Three seconds. the day. Get your vitamin D. There is sun out there. There's snow. There's sun. And I'll see you guys in the next workout.